I'm going to show you how to use third angle projection to be able to depict a three-dimensional object like this on a two-dimensional piece of paper. This is very important for communicating how to make an object and also when ideating your ideas and seeing how something will go together. We're going to learn how to do this with just a pencil and the paper, no drafting tools. Later we'll use drafting tools to make more precise drawings, but it's an important skill to be able to do a projection like this just with a piece of paper and pencil. It may not be 100% precise, but it will convey the structure of the object and the ideas and information needed to construct it. So first, what we're going to do is draw a horizontal line on the bottom of the page. Then we'll draw a vertical line at the top of the page. In between these two lines, we'll do our best to draw a 45 degree angle. Now we have to make some decisions. We need to proportion this object. So I can look at the top here and I can say that's one unit. And then on the front, I can say that's approximately two units wide and one and a quarter units tall. So let's go ahead and pick what our unit will be. So we'll say that's one unit. Then we can draw a vertical line here. We can draw another parallel 45 degree line. And that'll give us two units for our front. And then remember we said it was a quarter unit tall. So we can subdivide this very quickly to get approximately a quarter. So this is our box for the bottom piece. Now we can go ahead and draw a line for the top right here. So we're gonna make the top. And remember that is one unit because that was our original unit. We'll go ahead and put our 45 degree line there. And we'll mark that out like that. Excellent. So now we have the top and the front, but we need to take care of this little guy right here. And if we take our units, it's about half a unit. So we can go ahead and we can go here. We'll say that's half a unit coming straight down there. And then it's about a third of a unit tall. So we can just break this into thirds. We'll draw across here. And it's something like that. The last piece we need is our right hand side. So to do that, we can go ahead and just drop down straight from this line. And this line will come across and drop straight down. And then we can bring this across. And right about there we have our right hand side. Now we'll go ahead and darken the lines we need to keep. Remember this is a sketch just to communicate your ideas and the structure of an object. It's not a 100% precise drawing, although it will convey all the information needed to construct this. So here we have, we're gonna work on the front hand side. We can go ahead and label this front. All right, so that communicates that. Then we can draw our this will be our top. And then we can do the right hand side. We'll call this right. So now we can add dimensions to this. So it has all the information we need for the shape, but we don't know how big it is. So we can get our calipers. We can measure the front, approximately 75, eight. And when we're dimensioning something, we wanna put lines going up, little arrow marks, we'll say 70, 5.8 and then we can draw our lines just like that and then we can find out what our one unit is on the top so we get about 37 so then we can write 37 2 right there 
And then how tall is it? It's about 47.5. So we can do that here. The other dimension that we need is the width. Nope, we have that right there. So the last dimension we need is how this is. And this is a hard thing to measure, uh, but we can use our step on our calipers to measure out approximately 17. So we can say here, 17. And then from the, bot the top, we can say approximately 18. And now we have all the dimensions that we need to create this object if we were going to make it. Notice that there's no units written on here, so we can just go ahead and we can write metric. Since we are doing this in metric, and we can write not to scale. Since this is just a sketch. And just like that, with a simple piece of paper and a pencil, you can make a third angle projection that describes objects along with dimensions that any machinist or engineer could make.